Hi everyone, welcome back. It has been about over 24 hours and this is cured. It's hard. It still is in the curing stage. It is gonna take a few more days, but we can finish it and put the hanging hardware on it. And I wanted to show you the top part, you can see the glitter. And then the white part, you can see just little specks of glitter, which is cool because the waves are crashing down. And then we added the white here along the rock border. So the transition is much nicer. Let's see if we can get close-ups so you can see that. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I think I am going to name this the Water's Edge. If you have another name suggestion, definitely let me know. But it is, it's very cool. So today we are going to flip this thing over and remove the tape and add some hanging hardware. And I have some dish towels, just regular dish towels. I'm gonna put on top of here just to help pad it a little bit because I don't want any indentions. And the rocks, obviously, it's not gonna be level upside down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I got several layers of resin on here. You can see those drips are pretty good. I'm going to start pulling this off. I'm gonna heat it up and take my razor and go all the way around. So I'll probably speed this process up a little bit. Um, there's not much talking needed, um, just more visual. So here we go.
front still looks great. Our back is cleaned up pretty well. And what I had forgotten, the first layer of resin I did, I forgot to tape off the back. So that's why it had that buildup. And then I taped it. So I completely forgot about that. So this took me a little longer than it should have. Um, but when you tape it first, and then you let the resin drip on the tape, it is a little quicker to clean up. So um, just be careful with that straight edge. I don't recommend a straight edge for everyone. They do sell tools there um, that have the straight edge on it that have a handle and it's a little easier to chip away. Um, as soon as I find one I like, I'll be using that. But until then, I'm pretty much just using the straight edge as it is. So now that we got that done, it's time to put the hanging hardware on. So what I like to do, I have my little ruler. I like to go probably a quarter of the way down and you can eyeball it or you can measure it. And for this, um, about three inches, oops, would be good. So I'm gonna mark it about right here. And about right there. And I'm not worried about the discolored back because it's art, it's the back. A lot of people like, don't mind that. If you're very concerned about it, you could get some chipboard, um, you know, the box, cereal box, cut it to size, get some um, double stick tape and put that on the back so you have a finished backing, which I have done on some pieces, but um, I don't want to add any more weight, any more bulk anything to this because it's heavy already. I got these in place. I will link in the description. These are the D rings. They come with screws. I will link what I um, these in there so you can purchase them if you like. But they're really cool. These screws have the um, sharp point on them, so you really don't need a drill into this wood. It's soft already. You could, if you want, drill a pilot hole and put those in first. But I don't really think I need to. So put the screw in the hole. It's pretty easy have the drill going the right way. Place it on the hole. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. little hard because I'm drilling on top of these Dixie cups <laughs> so it's a little difficult for me there it goes there that's in let's do the other one and just get it in that hole do the starter spins and work it. It would be easier if it was flat on a surface, but you know, why make it easy? This is the wire. It's a coated wire and it's almost like memory wire. And it's, um, I'll put the description for what I use also. You're going to put, just cut a length off, put it in, fold it, go up, and down and around. Do this several times. And then pull tight. And we're gonna clip that off. Let me get my clippers. I knew there was something I forgot to grab. Why 
wire cutters. Snap it. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm gonna make sure longer is better because you can always cut it off. You can't add to it. If it's too short, you gotta start over. This is a little too long, but that's okay. Pull it tight, go up, down and around. This time I did it. One, two, three, four, five times. One, two, three, four. And when you do it, try to keep them tight and close. It'll make it cleaner, nicer, and easier. Clip that off, pull them close, and there you go. Wire wrapped hanger. And I'm going to put my business card here. I'll probably put the date and sign it. And how about that? What do you guys think? Edges. Super fun project. I'll be doing another one. So thank you for watching this project with me. Be sure you subscribe to my channel so you get notifications when I do my next project. And let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you for joining me. See you in the next project. Bye.